Ever struggle with making your Excel spreadsheet more interactive and user friendly? Imagine creating an order form where choices in one drop down automatically update the option in the next. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you're watching Office Visor. Today I am going to show you how you can create a dynamic dependent drop down list in Microsoft Excel that can make your data work smarter for you. If you also would like to follow me along, I have provided the workbook which we will be using in the description down below so that you can download it and follow it along. Now let me quickly share my computer screen. Okay, so here now you can see my screen and let me also open this Excel sheet here. And here you can see this workbook features a basic order form for selecting different food and beverages. Okay, when you choose option from here, which is pizza, burger and pasta, let's say we select pizza. Then you will get specific types, for example, margarita, pepperoni or veggie. Or when you choose beverages, then you will see options, for example, juice, coffee or tea. So let's jump into it and now I will start making this happen. For that, here uh, you can see the Excel sheet that I have provided you. Now, the first thing here we need to do is we need to create a name range. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the content here. Then let's go here in formulas and then we need to go in defined name group. And then here let's click on create from selection. Now here I need to specify that, you know, the top row is the one which is the name or kind of header and then remaining are the value. Now let's click OK. And if I go here in name manager, you will see that we have created this data. So here we can see the name is food and then uh, the values are pizza, burger and pasta. So let's say if you would like to use this list, then you can simply press equal and then um, if I type here food then you will see that um, in this way you can populate this list anywhere in your workbook so even if I open another tab here also if I write food the list would be populated so this capability we're going to utilize to create a branching scenario or make everything look much more dynamic now let me go back here and it's not like you cannot create these all lists at a once for that you simply need to select all these lists and then again I'm going to click on create from selection and then here I'm going to uncheck this left column and then let's again hit OK and then again if I go here in name manager now you will see we have created all these lists at a once. And sometimes what can happen is, let's say you have got one more value, let's say double cheeseburger. And um, if I select it all off together, you will see the blank spaces. In that case, what we need to do is just hold control and deselect all the blank spaces. In this way, we will not have empty value in our list. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create my order form. For that, I'm gonna take new seat and then let's rename this seat as order form. And then here, probably you are making it for your restaurant and you can um, mention your restaurant name. For example, Himalayan restaurant. Now, let me also make it merge and center. Now here, we're going to insert our first drop down list, which I would say is a pretty easy what we need to do here is we need to go to data tab and then here let's go in data validation and then let's click again on data validation and then here we need to select list okay and now uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mention the name of the list here which in this case is food so either i can type directly food or what i can do here is I can go back and then uh, I can simply press F3. So a lot of time this may also happen that when you press F3, you may see other function getting triggered. So in that case, you need to press Fn as well because a lot of time multimedia keys have given more priority, especially in case of laptop. So you may require to press Fn and then F3. 
and now here you can see all the list now being populated now i'm going to select food first and let's hit ok and now let's again hit ok and now here you will see my the food list now got populated and now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna also add another row and on the top i can mention food okay and from here i can select food now as i said before what i want is whenever i select food here i should able to choose variant or option so i'm gonna mention here option okay so in order to populate variant what we're going to do here is we need to select the cell where we would like the variant to be populated now um again let's go back here on data validation and let's select again a list and instead of again repopulating the whole list what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press equal and then here we need to type a function named as indirect so let me type here indirect and now let's add bracket and select this variable because you know every time the customer or we may change this value okay now i'm gonna close this and now let's hit okay now here you will see the option based on the value we have selected so right now we have selected burger so here we can see we are getting option of burger now if i change this value from burger to pizza now i think we should get the option of pizza okay so now here you can see all the options of pizza are getting selected now in similar way what we can do is we can also add drinks here so let me quickly add a drink here for that again let's go to data validation and then here i'm gonna mention list and then here let me again press f3 and now i'm gonna choose beverage and let's click ok now you will see that all the beverages are now being populated again i'm gonna repeat the same step which is data validation list and the indirect function so let me type here indirect and then um, let me select this variable cell and let me close this now again click on ok now here you will see you will get a juice option so here also if you select juice you have got these option apple juice orange juice and grape juice let me zoom it a bit and if let's say somebody select tea then they have got these three option which is green tea black tea and herbal tea and there you have it a dynamic dependent drop down system in excel that enhance user interaction and data management this technique is powerful for form survey and any situation where choices needed to adapt based on the previous selection and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to office wiser to see more such tutorial related to excel capabilities like pivot table advanced function or data visualization and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye